Hey, I'm Pink, and today I'm gonna be looking back on some magical moments from my career. My first video. I think this is the prettiest I've ever looked and will ever look. I think I was 19 when I shot this video. I just started riding motorcycles. I almost crashed 85 times. And I smoked a lot of weed too, and Dave Myers kept coming up to me and saying, can you wait to smoke that next blunt before the beauty shot? I was like, what do you mean? He's like, I really want you to be able to open your eyes. I was like, I'm, my eyes are open. <laughs> oh, I was so young. This is my pink misunderstood album cover, and that's my favorite color hair I've ever had. It's like cotton candy pink, and it's impossible to achieve. I wrote my name backwards on the couch, and I remember drawing on that couch. It was a really long time ago. Was that 19 years ago? That's crazy town. <gasps> Stupid girl. I really enjoy making fun of other people, but I also enjoy making fun of myself. And this was a lot of all of it. It was so much fun. Falling off the car. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Oh, I remember, remember the line, um, what happened to the dream of a girl president? She's standing in the video, dancing in the video next to 50 Cent. The rapper in the video was actually, his name was like Quarter Cent. I'm not kidding, it's 50's cousin, at least that's what he told me. And he calls himself Quarter Cent. Grammys 2010, glitter in the air. I got to get all the important people wet. I can't believe they let me do that. They let me do a song that wasn't a single. They let me do, that no one had ever heard before. They let me fly 100 feet in the air with no harness, with water. It was so much fun. I remember being so nervous to walk in this white gown and I couldn't walk in a straight line. I'm pretty sure in the first verse I almost fell over twice. <laughs> that was awesome. And LL Cool J looked at my butt, but so did Rihanna. It was a good butt. Come clean. Just give me a Do you know what's so funny? Okay, this is Just Give Me a Reason with Nate. I remember being in the fitting and thinking I was so fat and I didn't want to wear anything sexy or revealing. And then I remember about 10 years later, I was looking at the plaque on the wall and I saw my body and I was like, oh, I was so skinny. And now I'm looking at this video saying, God, I was so thin. And I remember thinking how fat I was. See, that's what women, that's what we do to ourselves and we should stop it and cut it out. And now I'm almost 150 pounds and I look fucking awesome. Um, I remember feeling really pretty that day, and I don't often feel, I wouldn't often use that word to describe myself. And I remember feeling really pretty and really grown up. I was woman of the year, right? 2013. My parents, I think my parents were there, and Carrie, and Carrie was actually proud of me and it made me feel really uncomfortable. That was an awesome day. And the Super Bowl. What I think of when I look at this picture is another interesting outfit choice and I wanted to die that day. I still can't believe that sound came out of my mouth when I opened it. I had the flu. I had planned this Super Bowl experience for my whole family, because the Eagles were playing and we're from Philly. And by the time all my whole family came and I was laying on the couch dying with the actual flu. And I couldn't believe it. But, and then of course the one thing the camera finds, the first place they find me is me spitting out my lozenge onto the grass. I was like, well, I tried. Ah, oh, memories.